Real quick, I want to talk about assembly. This is largely most of the way um, you would do write it cat it is you would give out a document with all of the parts and then have students assemble those parts together. So I want to take a second to cover some of the, the tips and tricks and the methodology of how to assemble things in Onshape because you can get pretty quick at this after you um, spend some time learning. So let me hop back into Onshape. So I'll go it into this write it cat it example, which uh, might look familiar as um, I kind of designed it off of some of the different options out there for write it cat it. But basically what we want to do is we have a bunch of these different posts and these um, different parts that have holes and posts in it and you connect it, can connect them in a lot of different ways. So Onshape uses this concept of mates. So a mate is a relationship between two different parts. Um, the, the mate you would use most often is called the fasten mate. This really fastens two things together. It's in the name. It removes all the degrees of freedom between these two entities so they can't move around. So when we click on a mate, it opens up the min window and says we're making our first fasten mate. And it's asking us to then choose mate connectors. And mate connectors are kind of like the two points that we want to connect together. So you'll choose a point on one part and then you'll choose a point on another part. And then you're able to move them uh, around those points. So for example, if I wanted this block, you can see as I hover over the block, um, all of these different points show up. Um, all the white um, points are different mate connector suggestions. So Onshape is guessing based on the geometry, what part of this uh, cube you would want to connect to something else. In this case, one of the easiest ways is to, to go to the center of something. So you can see as I move my mouse around, the icon for the mate connector, this kind of circle with a, a chunk taken out of it, uh, moves around. So when I click, I'll select and choose that as the mate connector point, the center of this hole. And then I can go over to this base and choose where I want to assemble it. So you can kind of see already, um, all these white points around those posts are suggestions of where I want to choose a mate connector and attach it to. I'll go over here to choose this one. And you can see the um, cube moves to that point. There's a couple options here as well. So you're able to flip which way it's connected up and down. You're also able to rotate it, which in this case, the cube is uniform on those sides. So it's not really going to change much. When you're done, you can click the green check mark. Uh, a real quick tip for fastening things together is this little box. When you click the green check mark here, it'll actually create a new fastened automatically. So if you have a lot of parts to fasten together quickly, you'll want to click the green check mark on the little box that I just clicked on, and that'll create a new one, and then you can keep going. So I can go find, say I want to fasten one of these to here. I can go ahead and do that really quickly because it just creates a new uh, fastened mate every time I do this. So you can just keep going. So you can see I've quickly fastened together these three parts already. That's one way to do it. There's also this concept of snap mode, which might be really useful once you understand the concept of using the fasten mate and how to orient parts uh, relative to one another. So you can turn on snap mode by clicking on this icon. And what's cool about snap mode is you're able to grab a piece of geometry, that mate connector, and then just drag it to where you want it to go. And it'll create the, the fasten mate automatically. So for example, I can left click hold and drag on that. You can see the part turns translucent. And then I can actually just place it on top of this other post. And you can see it creates that fasten mate automatically. So I can keep going. I could grab another one and I can drag it on top of there. And it really makes it really fast to be able to assemble all of these uh, parts together quickly. So if you're, of course, in a competition, you want to be moving quickly, snap mode's a great way to do it once you understand already how things will be oriented when you're using the regular fasten mate. 